A Minnesota father made the ultimate sacrifice on Father's Day, shielding his children from danger. Jimmy Pluff was with family and friends in Birchwood, Wisconsin, when a tree toppled his camper. The 55 year old died instantly. But as WCCO's Jennifer Merrily reports, family and friends call his final minutes heroic. I mean, we had the Tom Crichton steps, can't the shake the, the image. The tree was pointed straight back towards the camper. And when I got up there and looked at it, I knew that, that Jimmy was gone. This is what it looked like the next day. Crichton said it had been a perfect evening filled with a campfire, s'mores, and family fun. Overnight, a storm blew in. Most were in cabins, but Jimmy Pluff, his fiance, and two of his daughters were in a camper. In the midst of rain and lightning was the trauma of losing Jimmy. But then... You're stunned at that time. And, but on the flip side, I, I also heard two babies crying. Family and friends got to work with a chainsaw, cutting sections of the tree to get to them. He cut that last section and everything got, it came up and I was so relieved we got that off. Once that was off, it was get the knife, cut the canvas, shh, ripped it open, there was a baby. They rescued Jimmy's one and two year old daughters and later their mom. Because they were in a rural area, they were the first responders. Their family is should be proud of their actions that they did. But it's Jimmy that his loved ones call their hero. I really seriously think that he took the blow of that tree to save his family. We always try to find the good out of the bad, and, and this is my good, and this is what I'm taking out of it, that on Father's Day, he saved his kids. I'm told Jimmy was a man dedicated to his family. He was a father of seven and a grandfather. His funeral is on Saturday in St. Paul. Look for this story on WCCO.com if you'd like to help his family, Amelia. Such a sad situation. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, Jennifer.